Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for joining me for another video. Now there might be a slight echo. I'm out here in the garage filming this and of course I had to do it by myself. So uh, the sound may not be the best, but what, what I'm talking about today is some quick workout tips for you. I'm going to be talking about the dumbbell curls. Before I get into that guys, make sure that you consult your doctor before you do any kind of workout routine. If you don't, you can risk serious, serious injury. Also, make sure that you have proper equipment, i.e. gloves, uh, the proper weights. Never go out and buy subpar equipment when you're lifting weights. It can be very dangerous, it can be very harmful to you. And of course, you could get injured. Now, there's two type, there's actually a couple types of, of, of bicep curls you can do, and that's what I'm gonna talk about today. The one I'm gonna highlight are barbell curls. Now, barbell, cur barbell curls are with the long barbell versus dumbbell curls, which use smaller dumbbells. Now, this is a very effective exercise uh, when it comes to increasing your bicep size and then just generally working your biceps. Okay, the first thing you want to do is you want to have a good stance. You're going to have your feet shoulder width apart. Also, guys, if you can get... Um, a wall or something to lean against that's going to help you isolate your biceps and I'll show you what I mean in a second okay again feet shoulder width apart you kind of let, you, let your arms kind of hang hang to your side you're going to go ahead when you pick up the barbell you want to keep your arms about shoulder width apart okay you don't want them out like this and you don't want them in too close just shoulder width apart you want to go ahead with a slow motion Go ahead and raise it up. You want to pause for a second when the weight is about 12 inches, 6 to 12 inches from your chest, you want to go ahead and lower it. Guys, this is a slow motion. It's not fast motion like this. You see a lot of times in the gym, a lot of guys are doing that. And on top of that, they have too much weight. You risk injury and you're not doing yourself any good by doing that. So it's slow motion. One second, hold, down. Up, one second, down. Just like that, guys. So keep your shoulders in as tight as you can. Your arms about shoulder width apart. And you can go ahead and keep going up. Ideally, you want to do about 8 to 12 repetitions of those, depending on what kind of workouts you're doing. Now, earlier I talked about being against something like a wall. Okay, When you lean against the wall, what that's going to do is gonna, it's going to keep you from bouncing around and moving your back. A lot of times, see a guy... A lot of guys doing this kind of movement, you know, because they have too much weight. Now, if you lean against the wall, what you're going to do is you're going to isolate those bicep muscles. It's going to allow little to no movement on your back area. Okay? So, you lean against the wall, and I'm not going to demonstrate it totally, but you're up against the wall, it's going to keep you from moving your back at all. All right, guys, that has been the bicep curl using the barbell. If you guys got any questions, please let me know. We'll talk to you later.